All right, uh, let's look at the homework 17, problem number two. All right, so uh, let's evaluate this uh, integral uh, using uh, Green's theorem. All right, so uh, the, the C is a semicircle, uh, so it goes uh, 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 zero comma negative 10, and they go all the way around uh, this way, and then go to uh, zero comma 10, all right? So in order to use a green stem, we have to have a closed uh, curve. So we have to actually add another one. Uh, so I'm going to go from this point down, back down to, uh, say, negative 10. So this is, I'm going to call it the C prime, all right? So uh, uh, in this case, I'm going to call um, this region, so this uh, um, half disk, I'm going to call this region um, A. All right, so obviously uh, the boundary of A is going to be uh, C uh, together with uh, C prime, All right? So uh, let's, uh, let's do uh, uh, integral uh, over the boundary of A and the same thing. So y e to the x minus 1 dx plus uh, e to the x dy, right? So uh, by comparing, uh, you can see that the green stem, uh, this is going to be our um, uh, p, and this is going to be our q, right? By following the uh, green stem, so this is going to be a double integral over the region A, so that's the uh, half disk, and uh, let's see, Partial derivative of q with respect to x is uh, e to the x, right? Minus partial derivative of p with respect to y would be e to the x too. All right. So this is actually it's going to be uh, let's see. So this is dx dy. Actually, I forgot to put that in there here. Uh, dx dy. All right, so this is actually equal to zero because uh, here um, e to the x minus e to the x is zero, so the integral is going to be zero, right? So uh, which means that um, if you integrate it along here and along there, cancel out each other, right? So we know that uh, going uh, if you take a path, go from here all the way around to get there is going to be equivalent from uh, the opposite of C prime. So going from negative 10 to uh, positive 10. So why don't we do that? So let's do, um, um, I'm going to call that, uh, let's see, C prime, uh, my negative C prime. So if you're going from here, straight back to uh, that way. So I'm going to call this negative C prime. So uh, let's find negative C prime because the original one is going to be the same. So you have um, integral over negative C prime, but uh, this guy is actually going from uh, x value is always zero along along this li line, and going from negative ten all the way to positive ten. All right? Then since uh, there is no uh, a change in x direction because it's just going straight up. So dx is going to be zero, all right? So you just have to consider dy. So you have uh, e to the x, all right? But uh, e to the x, uh, along this line, x is zero. e to the x is actually going to be e to the zero, which is um, one. Then you have to evaluate that, all right? Then uh, you can see that, uh, so integral one would be x, Actually, sorry, I messed that up. This is actually with respect to y, right? Because we're going from negative uh, y equals negative 10 to y equals 10, right? So this is going to be uh, y going from negative 10 to positive 10. So it's going to be 10 minus negative 10. It's going to be uh, 20, right? So that's that, All right? So this is actually uh, using a green theorem, but it basically tells you that um, a force field uh, given here is going to be uh, conservative. So it's path independent. 
So instead of going along this uh, circular path or semicircle, uh, we can just go straight from uh, you know uh, zero comma negative ten to uh, zero comma positive ten, uh, which is much much easier to evaluate. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.